Okay, hey guys, it's been a while. I just want to give you a quick tutorial about Reason here. It's a uh, program that you could use as opposed to Logic or Pro Tools or anything else. Um, it's used by some pretty big names in the music business, but um, on the, in this tutorial, I want to just show you um, something that I kind of had to figure out on my own in the very beginning, and maybe it helps you out too. So uh, this is all about synthesizers and creating an arpeggiator with your uh, synthesizer. So we'll just open up the first one here, Thor. It's usually my go-to synthesizer for anything. And uh, what you'll notice is, let me turn on the uh, monitors here, is, okay, so you put your fingers, you know, it doesn't do anything and you're trying to figure out how to get the da -da 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 -da, you know you hold it down and it'll arp, you know do the little arp thing okay um, now there are patches in here that will uh, let you do whatever you need to do so like uh, rhythmic you could um, you know let's just do Or, you know, whatever. And maybe there just isn't any sounds in here that you need and you would like to, uh, you know, harp with uh, something else. So, you say you'll have like a lead synth. And uh, we'll just do big club lead. And you want to be able to use this in an arp form where it just arpeggiates like that. So what you'll need to do is, we'll, we'll use Big Club Lead here, and uh, you'll want to go to the multi-track view. So there it is, there's, there's what we got, okay? And now, uh, don't open up our PGator through here, it's in utilities. It won't, it won't attach to the synth that you want to use it on. What you want to do is right click, and go all the way down to utilities see down there utilities it'll pop up and hit the rpg8 that thing okay so that'll be open now and there you go so it's attached to that thor synthesizer above and uh yeah, so then you can play with it. Uh, where are we at? So then you can play with it and do all kinds of different things with it. Uh, you know, like take the rate down, make it a little more, a little more slower. So that's it. That's how you uh, arpeggiate uh, certain synth uh, sounds that aren't already in a sequence on Reason. Talk to you guys later.